Hello YouTube. Honestly, checking in. Checking in after long, long nine months of inactivity. Um, my channel got stripped down uh, from its features, several features, um, due to a misunderstanding with YouTube policies and all in all. Um, I ran into a lot of trouble. It took me nine months to get it back reinstated, which is where we are right now. The channel just got reinstated like two weeks ago and I decided to go back and work into my projects uh, for the people that are watching this video and for the subscribers that are, are still here I have a message for you and that message is thank you thank you for staying around thank you for being on this video and thank you for not losing hope on this channel now I figured that the best comeback video I could make was one from my old series um, actually one of my most successful series on my channel which is how to run uh, old games, in a specific Star Trek games, into new hardware and new operative systems. So, uh, I've been a Star Trek fan for all my life, and one of the games that I have always been wanted to go back to is been Star Trek Dominion Wars. Uh, for those of you who are watching this video, then you probably have fond memories of the game. Uh, Dominion Wars uh, was a game uh, released back in 2001 by a developer called Simon and Schuster. Or Schuster, I, I hope I am not butchering the name <laughs> that bad. Well, it's Simon and Schuster in this case. Um, the game is a combination between real-time combat and a space simulation with some micromanagement of items, micromanagement about uh, the ships you are going to use, which items you are going to equip on those vessels, uh, select a specific captain to command those vessels and give it some upgrades, etc. Um, the game featured two full campaigns. Uh, one from the Federation and one from the Gem Hadar. Since it's the Dominion Wars, then it's, as you know, it's all focused 100% on the Deep Space Nine era, featuring ships from that era and captains and characters from the series. Um, there is not a lot of voice acting within the game. Uh, the music score was practically unexistent at some point, and the reception back in the days was not the best. Uh, the game was categorized as a good effort, ranking between 6, 7, and uh, probably an 8 between Metacritic um, and all other reviewers back in the days. So it, it had a poor reception. However, this game and most Star Trek games have a special place in me because uh, I played them throughout my youth and I've been wanting to play them back even today. Unfortunately, in this specific case for Star Trek Dominion Wars, there has been an ongoing issue and that is the backwards compatibility. Alright, this game is not compatible with most modern video cards hardware. Uh, this game is not compatible with most modern operating systems either. So we have the full spectrum of um, users who are just crashing against the wall whenever they try to play it. Some of them are not able to install it, some of them are able to run it, but they cannot play it, some of them can only hear sound, some of them... Uh, we have every single compatibility issue that can exist represented in this game. Now, the solution that I'm going to show you here today has an 85% accuracy. I, it has been tested on Windows 7, 32 and 64 bits. I tested it on my Windows 8.1 partition. And um, I also sent, uh, uh, sent it to a friend for testing on his Windows 10, 10 computer and it worked out. Uh, so, give it a try. As I always say, it's going to take you at least 10-15 minutes to do all the steps we're gonna see in this video and you're probably gonna be able to play this beautiful jewel, this part of Star Trek history once more on your modern computer. Now, let's get started. Okay, here we are on the main... Uh, the first step is going to be installing the game. If you have your CD, lucky you if it's still running around, Put it in and run the installation 
a file, the, the exe file. If you're using an image file like I am doing, you have to mount it using daemon tools or alcohol 52% and run the installation uh, file. Uh, the installation should run regardless of any operating system you're using as long as you run it as administrator. That little bit you heard a few moments ago was the administrator prompt warning. Now, if you're running a modern computer, then the installation should take less than a minute or maybe one minute at tops. Uh, back in the days, I remember you could sit out for 10-15 minutes just waiting for that bar to fill up. That's why you had those pretty images in the background. But today, no need to wait. Okay, now uh, do not install GameSpy. GameSpy is dead. It does no longer exist. It was migrated to Steam. And uh, now uh, what we have in here is the game installed right now. Okay, we have to look where it is. I kind of forgot the directory where I selected the game to be. Uh, so, but don't worry, if that happens to you, just go to your start menu, look for the game, just type in the mini wars, and just go to properties and select the option to open file location. It's going to open um, the default uh, directory that you select for the game. And here we are. Now, very important, right click on the game launcher, select properties, and put compatibility with Windows 98 and Millennium Edition. Also, make sure to put a check mark on the Run as Administrator part. This is very important. The game should run in compatibility with Windows 98 and should run as an administrator. Okay? Okay, at this point you will notice that on the screen uh, we have a couple of files right there, which is um, Didra2 and dwpatch.exe. Um, these two files are necessary on our main Dominion Wars installation directory. So what we're going to do is copy and paste them from one side to the other. All right. These two files will be available on the description from my shared drive. All right. Um, Basically, uh, we require these two files. One is going to correct graphical glitches and the other one is going to correct the game launcher and update our game to the latest version. This latest version is version 1.04. Okay, uh, so as you can see, the only thing we're doing is just copy and paste, copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Once we have finished copy and pasting, these two files on the main root directory of the game we're going to launch the patching tool the DW patch tool and it's going to ask where is the game is installed we already have the path over here so we can just copy and paste it it's going to ask if we're sure about it just say yes don't worry there is nothing that's going to do harm from here select the version of the game you have either the US version the European version or the German version and click on next now, if you receive an error message like I just did here in a second, or right there, it means that your game is up to date. Your game is running version 1.04. If you don't receive a message, it means that your game was a previous version, 1.01 or 2, and it was just updated. Click on close, and here comes something that you're not going to believe. A lot of problems have uh, this issue with the laggy mouse cursor you can launch the game but the mouse is all laggy the solution to this is incredible you need to lower the resolution of your screen that resolution is the one that I recommend that I the one that I just place on the screen and now we just run the game oh well um, I just had a little problem changing my resolution and recording the video at the same time so I'm gonna change it again. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not going to have this problem. Um, as I said, anything lower than this should do good. As you can see, the intro movies are working, the intro of the game is working, and the lag in the mouse 
is gone. I can put the mouse cursor anywhere I want. There is no lag, it's moving normally, just as it should. Now, uh, checking here the version of the game. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the updater is supposed to get you into this version of the game. And well, we have both campaigns, the Federation and the Dominion. Let's go with the Federation one. Intro movies are working, voice narration is working. If we go into the menus for fleet setup, can it's very very smooth. Just like if we were running this on a Windows 98 computer. Thankfully we are not, but um, that's a whole cool point. I'm gonna launch the game. The loading time is ridiculously one second or two. I remember the loading times used to be forever. And here we go. Obviously, the graphics of the game are 2001 game. We got a saver, we got a steam runner chip on this mission, which is the first mission of the campaign. All animations are working, all special effects are synced and on time. And um, if we go into the menus, as you can see they are also fully functional, they are very responsive. In other words, it's working! Just gonna play around a little bit, show you. Uh, I want to find, I remember there were a couple of um, Kardashian ships over here somewhere. So I just want to engage one of them to show you some footage of an engagement. I remember beating this game like when I was 15, 16 years old. I, I beat both campaigns. Uh, if you manage uh, to get this one running with these uh, steps, you will have for at least between 40 and 60 hours of playthrough by playing all the 10 missions from each campaign. There you go. Here's a combat scenario. Everything is working. The kill camera is running in real time. The weapons are firing on time, special effects are okay. The weapon low timers are also working normally. Um, well, the reason we don't have full impulse and shields is because we're inside the a nebula. So, that's just basic Star Trek logic. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's working smoothly. The attack patterns, everything is responsive. Although if I recall the campaign from Dominion Wars is not exactly canon to the show. Now that I remember there are so a few side missions that never occurred, never happened. Like uh rescuing uh, Thomas Riker, which is uh, Will Riker uh, clone, transporter clone. Already, well it seems to be working here on the Federation side. Just going to give up in this one. I want to try the... I want to try one mission on the Dominion side, so just to be sure everything is running. So let's go back to the main menu. Once again we hit the new game option and we go with the Dominion Alliance. Intro move is working. Same thing, any ship's okay. Any captain, they look the same anyway. I think we've got Damar. Proceeding to coordinates. And well, it's exact same mission just from the opposite side. Actually, you finish the campaign with the Dominion, the Dominion are supposed to conquer Earth. And uh, you will see Romulan, Federation and Klingon ships making a last stand on Earth. Spoiler alert <laughs> for a game from 2001, that's the end of the Dominion mission, to conquer Earth. On the opposite side, Federation must conquer Kardashian. So, it's working, it's running fine and smoothly. 
Okay gamers, so we made it, we have another Star Trek game nailed down on the list to run in modern computers. So check it out, just a quick recap, install the game, make sure to set your compatibility to Windows 98 and Millennium Edition, make the game run on supervisor, uh, I'm sorry, administrator rights, then copy and paste the two files that are for download on the description into the game directory. Finally, run the Dominion Wars patch and let it run. If you get an error message like the one I did, don't worry, it means your game is up to date. Finally, lower the resolution of your computer to anything below the medium mark and run the game. It should run as smoothly as it did for me. Like I mentioned, this works most of the time. So, I hope it works for you. And, um, well, this is another video that goes into my old Star Trek uh, game series. Uh, I've been thinking on a new one, um, uh, on which one to do next after this one. I think Dominion Wars was the most challenging so far to make run. Uh, so... Um, Next, I've been thinking on a uh, Star Trek New Worlds or maybe um, Star Trek uh, The Fallen. Uh, but there are plenty others out there like uh, that, that I would also like to try again, like Star Trek War that used to run on on Windows 95 and so on. So um, leave a message down there in the comments. Let me know if this solution worked for you, and let me know which one, uh, which other game would you like to see next. Um, well, finally, as I mentioned, it's good to be back after such a long absence, so if you want to help me out, there, please hit this subscribe button that is right now on your screen, you just have to click on it, and you will be subscribed for my next video, the next week, next couple of weeks, and also uh, be sure that if you like this video, then please like this video as well. Gamers, it was fun to be back, so I expect to be seeing you out there on the next Odyssey Gaming Tech tutorial. This Odyssey checking out. See you out there. Hey, before you go, don't forget to check out our other videos. And also, leave a comment letting us know what would you like to see next. Thank you for tuning in on the Odyssey Gaming Channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you!